in this lecture let's see how we are going to solve this nonlinear system the first equation is 8x squared minus 7y squared equals 80 the second one is 24x squared plus 5y squared equals 240 and then here you can see the coefficient of y squared y is negative y is positive so we like to cancel y squared unfortunately here is 7 here is 5 but you know there is no problem if we do things like when we see 5 here so every number or every turn upstairs multiplied by 5 and when we see 7 here then every turn downstairs multiplied by 7 that's the technique okay. yeah. then you see what we get for the coefficient of y squared is 5 times 7, 7 times 5. So they are equal. The only thing is upstairs is negative, downstairs is positive. And then in this case, we can cancel y squared when we add those two equations together. All right. Now, uh, keep going. Now here, then we do, we will have a 5 times 8, that's 40 x squared. 5, 7, that's 35 y squared. And then 5 times 8, we know that's 40, and we have one more zero here. Now, second equation, 7 times 24, uh, that's what, that's 168 uh, x squared. And then 7 times 5, that's 35 y squared. And down uh, here, 240 times 7, we know 0 times 7 is 0, and then 4 times 7, there's 28, and then 2 times 7, so is 14, plus 2, that's 1680. Okay, then we can add. No, add uh, everywhere. If we do addition, then you know those two will be cancelled. Okay. Now, what do we get? We then have a 40 plus 168. That gives us 208 x squared. And then those two cancelled, so we have 400 plus 1680, that's 2080. Okay, looks like a nice number, huh? You know, if both sides divided by 208. Now 208 divided by 208. That's 1. And then 1 times x squared is x squared on the left. On the right hand side is just 10. Huh. So if x squared is 10, then x can be positive radical 10, and then x can be negative radical 10. Okay. There are two cases. Now, 
x comes out x comes out the first one we do we like to put right here so x equals radical 10 then what do we get is 224 times radical 10 squared huh? if you put it back and then we have 5y squared is 240. Now radical 10 squared is 10. Huh? So and then 10 times 24, so we then have a 240 plus 5y squared is 240. Okay. And then we do a subtraction. On both sides then you can see what we get here is that we cancel those two huh? then we have will be y squared times 5 that's 5 y squared those two cancelled <coughs> those two cancelled and then we may divide by 5 uh, on both sides then you can see 5 divided by 5 is 1 and then what we get will be y squared is 0 then y has to be 0 okay so you may write y is 0 you see down here is that we plug in positive radical 10 so we get that and then you may say similarly for x equals radical 10 here you may put it back here okay and then you may say when can have 24 times negative radical 10 squared plus 5y squared equals 240. Okay, again, you do is what? Is negative. It may also go where? may also go here huh? okay so you got that you got that you know negative radical 10 squared is 10 they are equal huh? and then we may find the solution For y would be the same, uh, which is what y equals zero. You know, you follow those steps because radical ten squared is ten. Positive radical 10 squared is also 10. Negative radical 10 squared is also 10. Okay. Then you may say what? The solution set the solutions are positive radical 10 0 and negative radical 10 Oop, 0 let me write this one choose 1 to 0 okay yeah. ugly 0 all right okay please review this lecture I'll see you next time